Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. We're here at Beaver Creek for the 30th annual Beaver Creek Arts Festival. And I am talking to the festival organizer, Helene Stillings. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we both have our jackets on. This must be, you don't usually break out your jacket this early in the year, do you? Well, not usually because I live in Florida, but, but it's wonderful to have the cool air. And I noticed some of your artists were also from Florida. When I talked to him last weekend in Keystone, I met more than one that was from somewhere. Oh, I met also one from Arizona, and they were loving this weather. Actually, one of the artists from Arizona you'll be interviewing later. But we have them coming from all over the country, maybe 20 to 30 different states. They're coming everywhere. They're gathered here for the Beaver Creek Art Festival. And how do you all choose the artists that participate in your program? Well, it's a selection process that's very particular. They must, we look at pictures of their work, we look at pictures of their display, and all of the artists here are the best of the best. And how long, uh, can tell us about your company and how long you've been doing this. Well, I actually have been doing this over 30 years. We, our company has been here in Beaver Creek for 14 years. It's one of our premier shows. We love being here. It's the ambiance of the place is incredible. We have a beautiful show coming, all different kinds of work, um, paintings, sculptures, watercolors, clay, wearable art, jewelry. It's a little bit of something for everybody. Now, you mentioned you've been doing this for a while, and I'm kind of curious is as to how art perhaps has changed during the time that you've been organizing these art shows? Well, of course the artists have to, over the years, change their type of work. Um, whatever, the, whatever people are looking for, um, the best part about our events is you get to actually speak to the artists themselves, the creator of the work. You'll know exactly um, what their thoughts were behind it. If you have any questions, you can ask them. They do custom orders. So it's, it's a thing to bring the whole family out. It's going to be a lot of fun. And. Um, you know, what is, like, it seems to me you have a lot of different types of art. Is there anything new that you've seen crop up that you hadn't seen 30 years ago? Um, perhaps. We have, like, an artist here who uses aluminum tubes, and he creates people sculptures, life-size. He has a Coca Pelli this year just for this area, and we thought it was, I, I actually wish I could get it. <laughs> And when you think of your mix of artists, do you purposely try to have kind of a balance between painters and sculptors and mixed media? Absolutely. And we limit the categories. Jewelry, of course, is one of the most popular categories. We limit that. But we also try to have a mix of a little bit of everything, the 2D and 3D. And we have a mixture. So we, we want it to look different. And each booth is more beautiful than the next. I, and I absolutely agree. Now, we talked last weekend in Keystone. Now, during the week, do you head back to Florida or do you hang out here in Colorado? Oh, no, we played tourist all week. Uh. We were up in Breckenridge, up in riding the gondola. We toured um, Frisco. And uh, I mean, it's so much fun up here in the mountains that we wanted to make the best of the time. But your program goes coast to coast. We do, and but next week we're going to be in Frisco, Colorado. After that, we'll be at the Flats in Cleveland, Ohio, and then we head back to Florida for our Florida season. Helene, it's been great talking with you this morning, and I can't wait to see what artists we have here today in Beaver Creek. Up here at Beaver Creek, it's completely free. Come and see the art and talk to the artists who created this great art. Now, we're going to check in with Ashley and see where she and Chaco have gotten to this morning.